Amen, church. Amen. To God be the glory. Can we just give God a hand praise today? Amen. He's truly been good. He's been marvelous. And he's truly been wonderful unto us. Amen. We thank God on this seventh day of February 2021. Amen. A new year. It's the, it's the um, a new year we're in, a, a new month. Amen. And it's the first Sunday of this month. And on the first Sunday, we uh, pay tribute to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, by doing Holy Communion. Amen. So before we uh, move on to Holy Communion, uh, let's just give God another praise. Because he's worthy. Amen. He's been good. He's been outstanding. He's been marvelous. Somebody say he's been God. Amen. He's been God. And we just give him the praise today and we thank God for all that he's doing. Amen. Well, with that being said, we're going to go into Holy Communion. Amen. Like I said, today is the first Sunday of February. Amen. Where we do our Holy Communion. And I want you to take this time right now, amen, in your heart and, and just go before God. Whatever you got to put before God, put it before God. Amen. Uh, the Bible tells us that when it comes to Holy Communion, some of us has erred simply in the fact that we disrespected the Lord's body, amen, the Lord's supper, amen, by, by not uh, asking God for forgiveness, by not repenting and doing those things that we know uh, to do, which is right, amen. So I'm going to give you a moment right now in the name of Jesus to get those things over to, to uh, the Most High God. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate you, God. We love you. Amen. You've truly been wonderful and you've been marvelous and you've been kind. Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. In the book of 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, the Apostle Paul writes concerning uh, Holy Communion. Amen. He says in the 23rd um, verse of the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, he said, For I have received of the Lord, amen, uh, for I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. Amen. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Uh, this do in remembrance of me. Amen. After the same manner, he also took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do you as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 Let us pray. God, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We thank you, God, for allowing us, God, to be participants in Holy Communion, God. We pray now, God, that as we have taken the blood and body of, of your Lord Jesus Christ, God, that we will also take that into our everyday living, God, that we may not sin against you, God. We thank you for the opportunity to have been partakers of, God. And we pray that the sacraments have been cleansed, purged, and sanctified. And they, they, now they will be used in these earthly and willing vessels to do thy will. To your name we give the glory for it all. For us in the precious and mighty and wonderful name of Christ, we do pray this prayer. Let the church say amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Well, church, amen. I don't know how long I'll be before you today. I hope it's not long. Amen. I, I truly believe that it doesn't take God long to say what he want to say to you. Amen. So if you would, in the second Samuel, the 22nd chapter, amen. Second Samuel, the 22nd chapter. When you're there, say amen. 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 First lady going to let me know when you say amen. Amen. When she get a couple of amens online and everything to God be the glory. Amen. In the second Samuel, the 22nd chapter, amen, um, you will find these words. I'm only going to read the first three verses, but in your spare time, I, I would um, like for you to go ahead on and read the whole chapter, amen, and, and see what God has for you. But today, I'm only going to read three verses in second Samuel, the 22nd chapter, uh, beginning at verse one. And it said, and David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. The God of my rock, in, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, 
my Savior. Thou savest me from violence. Amen. This is David in the in the second Samuel, the 22nd chapter, verses 1 through 3. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we give you all glory, all honor, and praise. We thank you now, God, for a wonderful opportunity, God, not only to stand before your people, God, but most of all, to be in your presence, God. I pray now, God, by your spirit, God, that you will speak in this, thy servant, God. I pray that thou will grant us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, power, and might, counsel, and let the anointing of the living Lord not only fall afresh, God, but come on in and occupy us, God. I pray now, God, if I stand afraid, God, teach me to be courageous, God. If I stand with pride, teach me humility. But above all things, God, let me not go beyond the boundaries of thine word, but speak only in the utterance of thy Holy Spirit. To thy name I give the glory, the honor, and the praise. For it's in the precious and mighty and wonderful name of Christ. I do pray this prayer. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Well, first of all, saints, amen. Uh, I, I, I want to say that on yesterday, uh, well, really beginning on Friday, me and First Lady, we took a little trip, amen. We went to the home-going services of our own uh, Deacon Kenneth Keys, amen. They had a graveside um, um, service, and we were able to go and, and, and pay our condolences, and, and hopefully we encouraged the family in Jesus' name to, to go on, amen. So so we thank God for that wonderful opportunity to have, have done that, amen. But but on that same note, amen, uh, it is a privilege to be able to ride and to, and to, and to share and talk with my wife, amen. And, and, and in that, amen, we talked about ministry, we talked about life, and, and we talked about each other, amen. And, and in that, amen, I, I, I want to take a side note before I get to the subject today, amen. And, and the side note is this, amen, for, for those that are married and, and those that are, 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 are thinking about being married, amen. Just listen to this. I think it's a, it's a word of wisdom, amen. I, I was sharing with my, my daughter-in-law last night, amen, how my kids go to the KSU, uh, Kennesaw uh, State University, amen. But, but I find myself also at KSU, amen, and it's the uh, Keep Studying University, amen. And, and in the Keep Studying University, I found this out, amen. A lot of our marriages and our relationships uh, do not have the tenacity that they used to have, amen. Oh, and, and the reason why they don't have that tenacity anymore is simply because you dropped out of KSU, amen. Uh, you know, Keep Studying University. You know, before you uh, uh, married them and when you was courting and, 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 and you know, you know the whole thing, you, you was trying to get with them and everything. You 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 studied them. You knew them. You knew what they liked and what they didn't like. I mean, uh, uh, you knew what colors uh, brightened up their day. You you knew you knew all the little things about them, and and you went the extra mile just to make sure, Amen. What that they were that they were happy, Amen. That that the, that the atmosphere was going to be set uh, uh, conducively to to what y'all wanted to experience, Amen. Uh, uh, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Go and say Amen. Amen. And, and so in, in that process of, of studying your, your mate, amen, uh, you were trying to get a doctorate in, and know your mate, amen. But, but now that you got your mate, amen, and you've been there for just a moment, amen, you, you stop going to KSU, amen. So, so the bottom line to what I'm trying to tell you, amen, is it's all right to have a degree, amen, but, but a degree that's not practiced ain't no good, amen. So, so somebody say, tell your spouse, Tell your significant other, tell whoever you around, go back to KSU. Keep studying university, amen. Ah, to God be the glory. That I, I just thought that would help somebody today. You know, when I go on, the, when, when, when First Lady and I go on trips, it gives us a, a chance to talk. And we just talk about, you know, some of everything, amen. And and, and, and that in itself, uh, uh, um just gave me that desire to want to share that, amen. But but there's one more other thing I'm going to share, and we're going to get on into the, the text, amen. In our conversation about life and ministry and each other, amen, we 
we we even got on we got on the subject of love, amen. And and the only thing I'll say about the subject of love is this, amen. We 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 act we was asking each other the definition, what our definitions of love would be, amen. And and we really didn't really define it, but but I'm gonna give you this when it comes to love. Um when it comes to man and his basic senses of love, they are still limited. Amen. But when it comes to God and his concept of love, uh, uh, it is so uh, uh, limitless. Amen. It, it goes over and over and over and over, beyond, 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 and so on and so forth. Amen. I, I believe the writer, uh, uh, let me turn to it. I believe in, in 1 John. Amen. The, the writer put it so elo eloquently. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Let, let me get over there. Amen. Because I don't want to misquote it. Amen. We got enough folk misquoting the word of God. Amen. And I, I just don't want to be one of them. Tell somebody I don't want to be one either. <laughs> Amen. Glory. Have mercy. Amen. So when we began to discuss love, amen, uh, the writer in the first, uh, in first John, the the fourth chapter, uh, he has to say this about love, amen. And beginning in verse number eight of chapter four, first John, he said, he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. He said, in this was manifest the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might, through, that we might live through him. Herein is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Now, that, 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 that's, that's love there. Amen. Somebody say that's love. That's love. Amen. So that, that, that's just a, a few nuggets I want to pass on today. Amen. Well, uh, uh, today has started off rather unusual. Amen. Uh, uh, I couldn't print out my text this morning. Amen. I was going to use the, the uh, computer. It then went blank on me. Amen. But but I thank God for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And, and so, 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 so I'm going to preach the thing from the whole, somebody say preach from the Spirit, Pastor. From the Spirit. Amen. That's what we're going to be preaching from anyway. Amen. Amen. Well, here in the second Samuel, the 22nd chapter, amen. All, all week long, God has been dealing with me with the fact that he said, trust him, amen. And, and every time something would happen, I, I seem like this has just been a, a week of news, amen. Uh, 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 I, I don't want to say bad news. I don't want to say good news. It's, it's just been a week of news. I, I've been getting this news from all over the place. And every time I would get some news, I would hear the Holy Ghost. I would hear the voice of God say, Trust and and, and, and and every now and then my flesh would want to rise up, y'all. It, it would want to rise up and say, well, you know, that, 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 that didn't seem to be all that wonderful. But, but, but then again, I, I would hear the Spirit of God override my flesh and say, trust me. Amen. He, even in today, when I'm going to give you this topic, I know some of y'all probably think, well, I think he's going to talk on trust me. No, I'm not going to talk on the topic of trust me, but but it will be a big part of what you're here today. Amen. So so here in the 22nd chapter of 2 Samuel, verses 1 through 3, amen, I, I still, I just want to talk from an aspect of saying, it's in you to do. Tell somebody, it's in you to do. It's in you to do. Well, uh, uh, in the 22nd of 2 Samuel, the 22nd chapter that is, in verse 1, David begins to write. And, and in verse 1, it, it gives us why David writes this particular uh, passage. Amen. It said, and David spank unto the, the Lord the words of this song. So he put it in song. Amen. In the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies uh -huh. And out of the hand of Saul. Amen. So here, so here David is in verse 1. He's saying, look, I wrote this here uh, about God. I put it in song so uh, we could sing it and everything. And, and he said, I wrote it because this is the day that God delivered me from all my enemies. Amen. And, and not only did he deliver me from all my enemies, but he also delivered me from the hand of Saul. Remember that at one point in time, King Saul was, was after David. Amen. He, he had them got uh, really je jealous. Amen. Amen. Because God had anointed David, the new king, and, and Saul didn't want to really give up his, his position. But somebody say, when God is working, it's just a matter of time. Oh, my God. 
Amen. So, so right now in this particular passage, David comes to that ideal of letting us know that God has already delivered me from all my enemies, even Saul himself. And then David gets to verse number two, and David begins to tell us a little bit about who God is. David said, and he said in verse two, and he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. And, and, and deliverer. In verse three, he goes on and said, the God of my rock. He said, in him will I trust. Well, all week long, I've been hearing God say, trust me, amen. And, and even on last night after First Lady and I got back uh, uh, from being in Florida. And, and after we got back from the home going out, we came home, got settled in, amen, and, and got ready for bed. And as I was getting ready for bed, I received a text last night. And, and the text came in, and it was about my, my youngest brother, uh, Derek. It said, man, Derek is in the hospital. He, he's been, uh, uh, he's got COVID. He's got pneumonia in one lung and, and, and his kidneys aren't functioning like they should. Amen. And, and, and I heard my wife when she said, uh, are you okay? But, but, uh, but even in that, uh, the voice of God kept saying, trust me. Amen. And, and even though it didn't look good, God still was saying, trust me. And so uh, all week long, I've been thinking about this, this trust me. I've been just thinking about this word. And, and here I find David in the third verse of the 22nd chapter of 2 Samuel saying, the God of my rock, in him will I trust. Amen. Well, when I got to that, that began to sum up uh, 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 today's uh, uh, passage, amen, today's title. It said, uh, it, it's in you to do. Oh my God. Well, uh, what's in me to do? Well, first of all, uh, if we were to look up the words love, uh, faith, and trust, amen, if we looked it up in man's definition, uh, we would get all kind of stuff. And, I, and I'm just telling y'all from experience, uh, some of the things that we've said don't make sense. Some of the things we uh, say uh, reference stuff that's, that's uh, out of whack. Amen. Out of context. Amen. And, and so I'm not even going to get into man's uh, definition of what love is all about. Amen. I, I need you today to see this from a spiritual standpoint. Somebody say, see it from a spiritual standpoint. Well, uh, when it comes to love, we've already talked a little bit about God's love. Amen. And, and, and how first John said in the fourth chapter, he said, uh, he's a, he pretty much telling us, stop looking at the way you look at it. You, you, you act like you love God before God loved you. He, he said, now you, 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 you done got things all twisted and turned around. If it was not for the love of God, then you'll still be in your same old nasty messed up scene. Amen. But because God loved you, uh, he sent his son, amen, to be a sacrificial lamb. Amen. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just stop right there? I got to take a side note. Amen. I, I, I don't know where this came from. Yeah, 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 I do. It came from the spirit. Uh, uh, when I said that word sacrificial, amen, uh, it made me think about we starting our fast today. Amen. And, and for all of y'all that, that need to know, the fast going to start at 12 o'clock noon. Amen. And, and, and I know some of y'all saying, well, that, 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 that's the Super Bowl, Pastor. And, and you know, and I thought about that. And, and at first, I was going to make concessions for you. Amen. But, but then I, I, I heard the Lord say this. Amen. Uh, he said, obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. And, and then I heard God say another thing. He said, you ain't going to have nothing to do with the outcome of that game. Amen. He said, ain't no input you can give. It ain't nothing you can do uh, 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 when it comes to who's going to win and who's going to lose. He said, but when it comes to your relationship with me, amen, glory. He said, you got some say-so, amen. And today your fast will have some say-so in your relationship with God. He said, don't put that off, amen. If you want to put it off for yourself, you go right ahead on. But I got some things that I want from God, amen. So when the fast start, amen, uh, it's going to be a sacrifice, but it's also going to be some obedience, amen. If you want what God has for you, somebody say, be obedient, be obedient. unto the call. 
All right, well, 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 now that we've gotten that out the way, amen, let's, let's go on here in this particular uh, um, verse, amen, in the in 2 Samuel, the 22nd chapter, uh, uh, we uh, find ourselves here in verse 3, where uh, uh, David is saying, uh, the God of my rock, in him will I trust, amen. Well, like I say, we talked about love a little bit, and, and, and now uh, I need to talk about faith and, and trust. Uh, if you're going to understand what we're going to in this passage, amen. Uh, 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 faith in itself, amen. Uh, the Bible said that God has given to every man the measure of faith, amen. I believe you can find that in the 12th chapter of, of Romans around the third verse, I believe. But 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 God goes on at the end of that and he says, uh, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to paraphrase, he said, uh, don't think no highly of yourself than you ought to. He said, he said be sober about thinking about yourselves and, and where you are, amen. He said, because God has given to every man what, according to uh, 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 the measure of, of faith. Amen. Well, when I thought about that, amen, faith in itself uh, 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 leans more to what you believe. Amen. Uh, uh, Y'all yeah, just amen me. I know I'm telling the truth. Uh, faith uh, um, it, it most of the time points to what you believe. You say you have faith in God. You say, I, I believe what? In God. Amen. So so faith points more uh, uh, toward uh, believing. Amen. But but uh, uh, but you got to have faith because the Bible says for without faith what? It's impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who are diligently seek him. Amen. So so faith, somebody say faith is necessary. Amen. Uh, you, you got to have it. Amen. Amen. Uh, no faith, no pleasing, amen. It, 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 it's simple. This is what the word of God said. And the word also tells us that we walk by what? By faith and not by sight, amen. We walk in the fact that we believe everything that God says, amen. We believe in everything that God going to do. We believe in, in God. That, that's our faith, amen. I don't really need to see that. I just got to what? Believe it, amen. Uh, even when it comes to salvation, amen, uh, the, the Bible tells us, amen, that, that if we confess with our mouths and believe in our heart well, that God raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, well, thou art saved, amen. So so if you uh, confess it and believe it, if you, uh, what, well, you're saved, T talking about uh, having faith, amen. But but see, the Bible also tells us that uh, 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 in everybody got a measure of faith, and, and I got to thinking about that, amen, and that's okay, God, uh, work with me here, help me out a little bit. God's okay, well, uh, in the form of children, amen, uh, 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 God is so profound, amen, uh, well, let me, let me go back for a moment here, amen, when it, when it comes to, to faith and believing, amen, well, see, even the atheists believe, let me help y'all out. They, 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 they believe. Amen. Ask an atheist. Amen. He believes, he just don't follow. He, he, he knows there's a God, but he just don't follow. Amen. He, he's not uh, 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 engaged in, in God's, um, uh, uh, what would I want to say? God's plan. Amen. So, so, uh, uh, so he, won't, he won't deny that there's not a God. He's just going to say, I'm not going to serve that God. Amen. But, but he believes what? There's a God. Amen. Well, uh, I, I, I often wonder how can an atheist uh, uh, say that he don't believe, but he do believe. He just don't practice it. Well, 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 well this is what God gave me. When it comes to children, amen, and having children, amen, uh, uh, it, uh, there's a, a, a seed when a man and a woman gets together, when she gets pregnant, there, there's a seed that's sown. Amen. Glory, glory be to God. Amen. And, and somebody say, in that seed is everything you need. Everything you need is in the seed. Amen. So, so here God is, because God said, in, in, in everybody, he's given what? A measure of faith. So uh, it don't matter if your daddy wasn't there. It don't matter if your, if your mama left when you was young. It don't matter. The, the fact that matters is that the measure of faith was still in the seed. Uh, it wasn't in the person, it was in the seed because the seed came from whom? 
whom it came from God, because God is the creator and the maker of all things and all people. Amen. So, so in that seed is still a measure of faith. Amen. We got too many folks talking, well, my daddy wasn't there. That ain't got nothing to do with the seed that God put in you. Somebody help oh me today. God. That measure what is still there. I don't care if you had a no good down, lousy, lazy, no good daddy. Uh, 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 the seed of God is still what? In you. Amen, 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 amen. Uh uh, y'all, y'all go with me for a moment here. Amen. So so here everybody still what has that seed. Seed. Amen. Uh, 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 uh we 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 so long we we miss it because uh uh can, can, can I can I paint a picture? Amen. Uh so the picture is is trust. That's the picture, amen. And 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 sometimes you can't see the picture just yet because the picture needs faith in order for the canvas to be painted. What, what you mean, Pastor? All right, watch this here. Amen. In the computer world, we use words such as JPEG, uh, I believe TIFF, uh, uh, GIF, uh, GIF. We use these words because what? They paint a picture. Amen. Uh, 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 and, and I just want to use the word uh, uh, GIF, G-I-F. Amen. Uh, in that term, uh, see, we need to, some gifts in the in the church. Amen. Uh, what you mean, Pastor? We need some folk that are growing in faith. Amen. Because you're growing in faith, going to help us what? Paint the picture. Uh, uh, help us today. Amen. But nevertheless, here we are. We 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 got faith. Amen. And every man has got a measure of faith. Amen. And and it's up to you. Amen. To to grow. Your faith, oh what? God. In 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 God. Well, how do I grow my faith? By reading the word of God, staying in the word of God, studying the word of God, because the Bible tells us faith coming by hearing and, and hearing by the word of God. So so in order for my faith to increase, amen, I got to what? Stay in the word of God. All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad we, we got by the faith thing. Amen. Amen. So now that brings us back to the fact when God kept telling me to trust him. Amen. So 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 I, I went and looked at the, the word trust, amen. And, and you know what I found about the word of trust? Amen. See, see, I I, I that's why I don't want to get into man's definition of trust, because we 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 sometimes are so far off because we put in our own uh, uh, advantages, amen, uh, when we want folks to, to trust us, amen. But don't you know that trust is this, amen? Uh, when we're in the aspect of God and we start talking about trust, amen, it means to dwell in, to abide in, to confide in, to take shelter in, to take oh, yeah. refuge in. Oh, somebody help me up in here. So uh, so watch, it, watch this here. So when you come to God, amen, you know how we always talk about, let's take a leap of faith. God ain't asking you to take no leap of faith because in man's terminology, a leap of faith usually means jumping out into something that you don't know about. And so we fooled a lot of people because we're asking them what? To take a leap of faith. God is not asking you to take a loaf. God is asking you to take a lot, a leap of trust. Amen. In other words, God is saying, uh, I know you really don't know me, but, 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 but abide in me. Uh, come and take refuge in me. Come and dwell in me. Why? Because as you dwell in me, I will begin to show you my character. And as I show you my character, meaning show you who I am, then your faith in me builds. Hey, oh, y'all don't hear me here. Amen. Uh, so God is saying to uh, take a leap of trust in me. Amen. David is saying right here in this text, uh, when David says, uh, 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 in him uh, will I trust. Why are you going to trust him, David? David said, I'm going to trust him because while I was abiding in him, while I was dwelling in him, while he was my refuge, amen, I learned that he was my rock. I learned that he was my fortress. I learned that he was my deliverer. I learned that God is my rock. Why? Because I'm dwelling in him. I'm learning his character. I'm learning who he is. And because I'm learning those things, my faith in God will grow. 
Ah, uh, glory. Have mercy. Uh, see, God is saying, I'm not asking you to jump off into the unknown because why? I know who I am, said God. Amen. This is why I give you a measure of faith. Amen. Because your character, oh Lord, have mercy. See, th th can, can I just go back for a moment here? This is why so many of us are messed up. Amen. Because we put our, our trust uh, in the character of man rather than the character of the Holy Spirit that's in the man. See, because God knows uh, uh, in my fleshless self, my character ain't no good. Oh, that's why uh, some of us saints, we we uh, struggle with this. We struggle with the fact of God changing us because we think uh, we are all right the way we are. Tell somebody, no, you're not. No. Uh -oh. See, God, God, oh, watch this here. Uh, this is why the Bible said when, when, when God said put no confidence in man, put no trust in man. Uh, the reason why God wants you to, to trust him is because as you trust God and you abide in God and you dwell in God, and, 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 and oh Lord, have mercy, you begin to, to know the character of God. And then knowing the character of God, it be changed the character uh, uh, that's in you. Amen. So what God is asking you not to trust man, but trust the God that God want to trust himself in you. Uh oh, y'all, y'all didn't get that, did you? God wants to trust what He's already put in you, which is His self, and He's gonna trust Himself with the will that He has for you in in you. Oh, y'all, y'all don't hear me here. Hey, Amen. This, this, this is why David said, uh, "In Him, uh, 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 I will trust." Uh, David said, "It's, it's, it's not a." Uh, 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 David said, this is mandatory, amen. Uh, this is not optional, amen. Because if I don't trust God, if, if I don't dwell in the most secret place of the most high God, if I don't dwell under the shadow of his wings, amen, then I'm not here. Jesus. <laughs> David said, and he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, uh, the God of my rock. In him will I trust. Amen. I'm, I'm going to stay in God. Amen. See, uh, I don't care what my situation looks like. I'm, I'm going to trust him. I'm going to dwell with him. I'm, I'm going to stay uh, 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 at his feet. Amen. I'm going to stay in his presence. Amen. Uh, see, uh, David found out that if he stayed in the presence of the uh, almighty God, amen. That David said, if I stay in God's presence and, and learn who he is, amen, my faith in God will, will be built, amen, and, and I'll increase my faith. And as I increase my faith, I, I began to, to say things such as, I shall not be moved, amen. And the reason why I'm not going to be moved is because my faith is in a place, amen. Oh, glory, have mercy. It's in a place in God that assures me that God is who he said he is. Oh, somebody say, it's in you to do, amen. See, see in this passage, David says, uh, he said, the God, in verse number three, he said, the God of Marat, in him will I Trust. David didn't put it off on anybody else. Amen. He didn't tell somebody else that, that, that it was their responsibility to trust God for him. David said, no, I. <laughs> I trust. Uh, 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 I will trust. Uh, uh, somebody say, I'm going to trust God. So I'm going to trust God. <laughs> say, so it might not look the way I want it to, but, but I'm going to trust God. Amen. Amen. Uh, the news might not be the news that I wanted to hear, but I'm going to trust God. Amen. Uh, people may not be acting the way I want them to act, but I'm going to trust God. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, 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 David saying, you, you can talk about me all you want to, but I'm going to dwell in God. You, yeah. you, you can say what you want to say about me, but I'm going to abide in God. Hey, matter of fact, even in the 23rd Psalms at the end of it, David, he said, I'm going to dwell uh, in the house of the Lord, what, forever, amen. Uh, I'm going to stay, oh, Lord, amen, in God's presence, amen. Uh, see, you, you can't learn about God if you're not in his presence. 
Oh, you, 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 want, you want the trueness of God, the true teaching of God. Tell somebody, uh, not only get in his presence, but, but stay in his presence. In his presence. So, uh, it, somebody say, it, it's in you to do. Amen. I'm, 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 talk, I'm talking to the Christians right now. Amen. I'm talking about the born again believer. Amen. Yeah. Who running around talking about, I, I don't know what, what God's got for me. Amen. Well, uh, that lets me know you ain't sitting at his feet. Oh, God. That let me know you ain't abiding. You ain't dwelling. Amen. You ain't confiding in. Uh, oh, somebody help Jesus. me today. Amen. Because God is simply saying, amen, if you get there, amen, uh, well, I'm going to have conversations with you. Amen. Uh, I'm going to have communion with you. Amen. I'm going to have fellowship with you. Amen. But you got to be in rather than out. Well, somebody say, it's in you to do. Uh, uh, David took ownership uh, uh, of the situation. He said, in him will I trust. Amen. He, he took ownership. Somebody say he, he took accountability. Yes. Amen. Uh, of his relationship with, with God. God. Amen. Yes. He, he wasn't blaming folks for, 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 for where he was. Uh, 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 they could have did this for him or they could have done that for him. David said, no, nah, that, 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 that don't even matter. Amen. Because I got a God that can make you do right by me. I, I got... Oh, Jesus. If you read the rest of the text, amen. Uh, uh, I'm just going to read a little bit. Is that, is that all right? <laughs> In this 22nd chapter of the second uh, Samuel, amen. Uh, if you go on, amen. Uh, even in the third um, verse, I'm going to come back to it. He said, I, he said, in him will I trust. He said, he is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower oh, and my refuge, my savior. Uh, thou uh, uh, saves me from um, violence. David gone, he said, I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be Praise. Yes. He said, so shall I be saved from my enemies. He said, when the waves of death can pass me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell can pass me about. The snares of death prevented me. He said, in my distress, amen. Oh, glory, have mercy. Oh, See, there's going to be some days that you're going to be distressed, even while you in God. But somebody say, don't leave his presence, amen. Oh, don't, don't, don't stop dwelling, amen. Don't stop confiding, amen. Don't stop Amen. He said, even, he said, in my distress, I called upon the Lord and, and I cried to my God and he did hear my voice out of his temple and my cry did enter into his ears. Amen. Here David saying uh, in, in verse four, five, and six, amen. David just was letting us know that some days got chaotic for him. Amen. All kind of stuff was going on. He, he was facing all different uh, situations and, and circumstances. But, but David said, in spite of all that, I wrote the song, amen, to let you know in verse number two when he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the, the God of my rock. In him will I trust. Uh, it's in you to do this work, to trust God, you ought to tell somebody, I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust him. Gonna trust him. Oh my God. Amen. Ain't nobody like him. I'm, I'm, I'm going to trust him. Yeah. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. It's in you to do. Amen. Uh, David is telling us when he begins to, to give us a little bit more in, in verse number three, when he goes on to say, he is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence. David is simply saying this to us today. Amen. David saying, I, 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 undoubtedly, you, 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 need it, you need faith. Amen. David said, but today I present to you uh, trust. Amen. He, he said, you need to trust him. And, and the reason why you need to trust him, because trust is based upon uh, God's character. Amen. Watch, watch this here. Amen. See, see, we spend a lot of time uh, when we talk about trust. Amen. Uh, a person so-called has to gain our trust. Oh Amen. They, they got to act a certain way. They got to be a certain way. They got to do a certain thing. Amen. Because we think that this points to their character. And most of the time, oh uh, Lord, uh, I got to say it the way it is. Most of the time, our character fails them. Jesus. 
And, and the reason why our character fails them is because our character is based upon the flesh. Okay. Amen. But, but here God is. Amen. Oh, the most high God, the God of gods, the king of kings, the one who has nobody to swear to but himself. Amen. This is the God. Amen. That you can look at his record and his record speaks for itself. Oh, can I just talk about it for a moment? If you look back on your life, even before you wasn't saved, amen, God in some form or another was a mighty deliverer in your life. There were some sticky situations that you found yourself in, but even when you wasn't saved, God came through. Oh, I know I'm telling the truth, amen. Uh, see, God record speaks for itself. Amen. See, I don't know anybody else. Amen. Who hung the stars, who named the stars, who keeps the moon in place, uh, who makes the sun stay where it is, who puts the earth on a rotational basis. I don't know anybody else who formed the Milky Way. I don't know anybody else who created everything that there is. God. Record speaks. For itself. Uh, I was thinking about this earlier this morning. Amen. Uh, I, I, I thank God for scientists, but, but scientists, they get off track. They get messed up because they get in themselves. Amen. What do you mean, Pastor? Uh, the Big Bang Theory. Amen. I don't know who came up with the Big Bang Theory, but they need to be banged side the head. Amen. Why you say that, Pastor? Why, watch this here. Amen. If you know anything about explosives, amen, uh, even when you watch them on TV, they real, amen. Explosives are real, amen. When, when you go to war and you see things, when a bomb goes off and it go boom, it leaves nothing but disaster. Pieces are all over the place, amen. So how in the world if something that goes boom can make something create itself? But here God is. From Genesis to Revelations gives you a breakdown of who he is. In Genesis, he still shows you what, that I am the creator and, and maker of the world. Amen. That I'm the one who moved darkness to the side and told it to get back. I'm the one that told darkness that it could not comprehend the light. I'm the one that did that, said God. I'm the one that established the, 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 the sky uh, from the earth. Amen. I'm the one that put the firmament in the heavens. Amen. I'm the one that, that made the Red Sea depart. I'm also the one that you don't talk about it much. I made the Jordan River depart too. Amen. Amen. See, th th this is the God whom we serve. His record stands for itself. Amen. When I, when I look at the Bible, all the folks he's delivered from all the different things, uh, all the folks he's healed from all the diseases. Amen. Uh, you know, that's a disease we don't talk much about. Can I talk about it today? Amen. Amen. Because uh, I don't know about y'all, but I've been delivered. Amen. Uh, see, I used to have a diseased mind. Amen. Somebody help me up in here. Amen. Thought things I wasn't supposed to think. Amen. Uh, that same man would take me places I wasn't supposed to go. Amen. It would dream up stuff that I ought to try that wasn't right. Amen. I had a diseased mind until one day I had a Damascus road experience like the apostle Paul. Amen. And on that day, Jesus. amen, uh, my mind got renewed. Amen. Somebody got, somebody say it got exchanged. It got exchanged. Yes. Amen. I lost my mind and gained the mind of Christ. Yes. See, because God record what speaks for itself. Amen. This is another reason why now I can understand when King David say, uh, 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 I will trust him. I'm going to abide in him because as I abide in him, he shows me more of who he really is. And the more I learn about him, not only is my faith increased, amen, glory, hell mercy, but the more I learn about him, the more I'm willing to put my life on the line. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> because with him, when I lose my life, I, I gain life. Amen. Somebody tell somebody, it, it's, it, it's up to you to do. 
It, it's up to you to do, to, to trust God. It's, it's up to you to, to think about all the wonderful things God has done for you. In. And especially now that you are born again, saved and, and sanctified, uh, all the things that you've now enjoyed, amen. I ain't talking about what you're finna get, amen. Oh I'm God. talking about the stuff you've already enjoyed in God, amen. Yeah. That ought to be enough to say, I'm gonna trust him, amen. I know the wind is blowing real hard. I look like, I know I, I see the storm, approaching. Amen. But what I found in God, I got a resting place. What I found in God, I got refuge. I found a place in God that the storm cannot bother. It's up to you. <laughs> I'll tell you, neighbor, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's in you to do. It's in you to do what? To do what? To trust God. David said, the God of my rock, in him will I trust. He said, he is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. <laughs> Thou savest me from violence. David said, I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Tell your neighbor, he's worthy. He's worthy. Amen. And since I've been in the dwelling place, <laughs> I know he's worthy. And since I know he's worthy, it's in me to do. Well, uh, what? Well, uh, I know I said it's in you to do, and that's to trust God. But I'm closing now, but there's something else that's in you to do. David said he's worthy to be yes, praised. Amen. Somebody say, it's in you to do. It's in you to do what? To give God a praise. Amen. Hey, glory be to you. Thank you, God. You are more and more each and every day of our lives. God, we give you glory, God. We give you honor. We give you praise. Because you are worthy. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. It's in you to do. <laughs> to trust God. To trust God. No matter what the situation looks like, trust God. No matter what you're going through, trust God. No matter what people say, trust God. Uh, his record speaks for itself. Get, get, get into the, 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 the dwelling place of the Most High God. Uh, abide in his presence. Amen. Dwell in there. Stay in there. Amen. So that you can see more of who God is. I'm telling you now, it increase your faith, <laughs> and it'll cause you to trust Him. Amen. Let the church say Amen. 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 We serve a wonderful God. Amen. Uh, it's in you to do. Amen. Trust Him. Trust Him. Trust Him. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. God, we thank you now, God. For your word that has gone forth in this time, God. I pray now, God, that your word has been sown on good ground, God. I pray that uh, we, your people, God, will, will feast on this word, eat this word, swallow this word, God. And, and let it produce fruits uh, uh, that are worthy of the name of Christ Jesus. God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word that is, it, en it enriches us, God. Uh, I pray now, God, that we write it on the tables of our hearts, God, that we may not sin against you, God. We are so grateful and thankful, God, that you are sharing yourself with us. May we be found, God, wanting and seeking and desiring more of you. We love you, God. We appreciate you and we thank you. For it's in the precious and mighty and wonderful name of Christ. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. 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 And amen. Tell your neighbor, it's in you to do. It's in you to do. It's in you to do. Amen. amen. Somebody amen. say, trust him. Amen. Trust him. Amen. It's in you to do. Amen. amen. Well, church, we serve a mighty good God, an awesome God, a wonderful God. Amen. And I thank God for the privilege and the honor to be able to bring to you today his word. I pray that the word of God is truly bless you and that it 
will enrich your lives. Amen. For those that are saved, amen. Keep on being saved, amen. Keep seeking God, amen, amen. He, 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 he is a God that's, that's truly amazing and wonderful. And for those of you who are listening that do, that do not know God from the point of your sins, we offer you Christ today, amen. The Bible said, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, then thou art saved, amen. It, it takes a word to be saved, amen, but it takes a desire and a living for God to stay saved, amen. Oh my God. So, so I'm asking you now, amen, if, if, you, if, if you believe in your heart, amen, and you confess it, amen, that Jesus is Lord, you are saved, amen. I know that some churches are not open like ours. We're on online right now, but keep tuning in, amen, so that you can get a word from God. We want you to increase your faith, amen, as you trust him, amen. Keep trusting him, amen, and God will keep showing you who he is, amen. Well, to God be the glory. Our time is up today, amen. We thank God for um, being able to, to share a word with you, and we pray that the word of God has truly blessed you. Um, we look forward to, to seeing you uh, uh, on Tuesday night. Amen. Uh, uh, don't forget, um, Poxy, our fast starts today at 12 o'clock. Amen. If you're going to eat your, your potato chips, you're about to run out and get them for 12 and, and get them on down. Amen. But but at 12 o'clock, amen, uh, all of uh, um, meats cease. Amen. It, it's vegetables. Uh, uh, nuts and fruits, amen, and water, amen. Make sure you, you get your supply of water, amen. We're looking for God to do some amazing things during this fast, amen, uh, for us individually, for us corporately, for us as a body of Christ, amen. And and I need you not only to get on board, but I need you to stay on board, oh, amen, amen, amen. Uh, we're doing, what, 21 days, amen, glory, have mercy, amen. Some of y'all say, oh, pastor, the 21 days, that's hard. Look, if we have folks that have gone for other than that. Amen. Uh, uh, Moses, amen, well, did 30 days. Amen. And glory. Have mercy. Uh, he did 30 days with nothing. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. But but nevertheless, even Jesus, amen, amen, with nothing. Amen. It said afterwards he was a, a hunger. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. So so he, 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 can, he can curb that appetite for you. He can curb that hunger. Amen. But somebody said you got to trust him. Amen. So, so once again, Poxy, we're looking for God to do some amazing things. Uh, we got some people on the on the prayer list. Our own brother Johnson. Amen. My, my brother Derek. Amen. Uh, um, I think first aid has rolled the list before you. So just make sure you you keep them in prayer. Um, um, keep the church in prayer. Amen. During this time of fasting, uh, uh, loved ones, members, and whatever your concerns are, this is this is definitely a time. To put them before God. Amen. The Bible says, cast all that cares on him for he what cares for you. Amen. See, when you abide in him, you can throw it on. Somebody say, throw it on him. Look at he, he can handle it. Throw it on him. Throw it on. Him. Amen. But you got to be in a place to do it. Somebody say, in his presence. In his presence. Amen. Well, church, once again, it's been an honor. It's been a privilege. We thank God for you. Amen. And we pray that God will continue to um, bless you. Amen. And until we meet again, as always, uh, be thankful. Uh, be blessed and be in God.